the docuseries openly took advantage of Wendy Williams' dementia, according to a lawsuit. There were images in the Lifetime documentary Where is Wendy Williams, showing the former talk show host acting erratically, bewildered, and forgetful. Nevertheless, Williams, who has aphasia and dementia, was named executive producer of the documentary series by the producers. Williams' guardian, Sabrina Morrissey, now claims in a recently released lawsuit that Williams was not able to give her approval for the film and would not have approved of the way she was portrayed because of her physical condition. This blatant exploitation of a vulnerable woman with a serious medical condition who is beloved by millions within and outside of the African-American community is disgusting, and it cannot be allowed, said the lawsuit that was submitted to the New York State Supreme Court on February 21st. The four-part documentary, which debuted last month, follows Williams' life after the cancellation of her popular daytime TV program The Wendy Williams Show and her battles with alcoholism, severe health conditions, and money problems. No one acting in Williams' best interest would have permitted such a film to be aired, according to the complaint filed against NE Television Networks and Entertainment One Reality Productions. The filmmakers are also accused of improperly communicating the project with Williams' guardian, and the court overseeing the guardianship. A few months into shooting, in May 2023, Williams was diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia and primary progressive aphasia. Last month, her diagnosis was made public. Executive producer Mark Ford of the documentary remarked that if the team had known that Williams had dementia, they would never have entered into the project. He also added that Wendy had good days and she had bad days. In an interview with the Los Angeles Times, he said, We hope people get to the end of it and understand why we decided to finish the project with Wendy, her family, and her management all supporting it. And he released a statement in response to the lawsuit that stated, We look forward to the unsealing of our papers as well, as they tell a very different story. NPR's request for comment was not immediately answered by Entertainment One Reality Productions.